Hello, this is John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata, and welcome to another MetPy Monday. This week, I wanted to show you a couple things that we added in MetPy 0.6 that are useful for annotating your figures and helping out kind of dress them up a little bit. Okay, so in our notebook here, we're going to start out with some imports. We're going to need matplotlib to do our plotting. So I'm going to import matplotlib .pyplot as plt, and I'm going to use numpy to do my data creation here. And this import something as something is a shorthand if you haven't seen it before. So I don't want to type numpy dot every time or matplotlib dot pyplot dot every time. So I'm importing them with what you can think of as an alias. So I just have to type np dot. And then from metpy, we're going to import our plots module. And I'm going to use the matplotlib inline magic, which just means that the figures are going to show up inline in our notebook here. Okay, next we need to make some data to plot. So I'm going to make an X-ray using the arrange command. So this will give me an array from zero to 99. And then for Y, we can use NumPy's random function from the random module. And that'll give us a 100 length array of random numbers. Okay, so we'll run that. Now we've got some data. And now we need to go ahead and make our figure and look at what our data looks like. So I'm going to use plot.figure. I'm going to go ahead and give this a fig size, which is going to be 10 by 7.5, just to make it nice and large so we can see it here on the screencast easily. I'm going to create an axis. So I want a single plot, one row, one column, and working on that one plot. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a scatter plot of my data using the scatter command x, y, and in this case, let's go ahead and make the dots red so they'll show up nicely here. And there we go we've got our plot, and it doesn't look all that bad for a default plot. We did add a feature in MetPy 0.6 that lets you add the MetPy or Unidata logos to your plots with a single command. It's pretty easy, and it helps show how you've made your plots. So from the plots module in MetPy, I'm going to use the add metpy logo function. I'm going to tell it what figure I'm working on in case I had multiple open. And you can specify if we hit shift tab in a notebook and look at the document string here, we can see that we can specify the X and Y position, the Z order, which is by default 100, so on top of lots of things, and the size, either small or large. In this case, I'm just going to scoot the logo in on the x-axis a little bit. So I'm going to say x is 30 pixels from the edge of the image. So now if I run that cell, we scroll down, you see we've got a nice little MetPy logo there in the corner of our image with just one line. It looks nice. We can also add the Unidata logo, and I'm going to show you how to do this to show you how to use the size command. So again, plots dot add unidata logo. See, I just typed add uni and then tab, and it went ahead and tab completed for me. It's a handy time-saving trick. Then fig. Here, I'm going to want this way over on the right side of the plot. So I'm going to give it 420 pixels from the left side. And then let's see what the large size looks like this time. The large size is 150 by 150 pixels. The small size is 75 by 75. So here we're going to say size is large. When we run that cell and scroll down, see now we've got the Unidata logo. And you can see the data, it's not just a white box. You can see data points that are between the word Unidata 
and the logo. These are actually transparent logos. And you could do whatever you wanted to them in terms of positioning, on or off your figure, above or below, etc. The last feature that I wanted to show you, which I personally find really handy, you might want to know if you've got a lot of figures that you're working with for a manuscript, what time did I make this figure? Is this really the newest version of this figure, especially if you've just got a folder of printouts or you've got it on a slide? You might want to make sure it's the most recent one. So we can use the add timestamp functionality from plots. We tell it which axis we want this to be on. And then the X and Y position are optional. Uh, by default, it's in the lower right corner. In this case, I'm going to put it above the figure because I don't want it to interfere with my X tick labels. These are in relative coordinates. So 0, 0 would be the bottom left of the figure. 1, 1 would be the top right of the figure. And so you don't have to actually use data coordinates or pixels or anything like that. It's just relative. So I want it to be slightly above the axis, the bounding box of my figure here. So I'm going to say Y is 1.01. .01. That should put us right above. And if I run that cell and then show my figure again, you see up there in the top right corner, we now have created on today's date at today's time Z. So that's a handy way to know exactly when you made the plot. If you wanted to know when it was valid, you can pass a specific date time object in if you wish. But the main purpose of this function is just to go ahead and timestamp when you made this figure. So I hope that adding these annotations is something that you find useful, and we would love to see what you're doing with MetPy. If you want to go ahead and try out putting the MetPy logo on and tweet us some plots that you're making, we're at MetPy and at Unidata on Twitter. You can also find us on Facebook. Thank you for joining me on this week's MetPy Monday.